I'm Matt Turner, and I'm a goalkeeper for the U.S. men's national team. Soccer was uh, a part of my life, but not a big part for sure growing up. What made me fall in love with the game was the World Cup in 2010. My friends would come over and we would put on the first game of the day and, and we'd watch all three games that were on TV. And so um, after those games, my friends and I uh, would go down to the field in the middle of my town, Park Ridge, New Jersey, and we would just try to recreate things that we saw happen uh, on the field during the day and, and, uh, and just have a ton of fun with it. I never could have imagined the future it would hold. Um, I just wanted to, you know, have fun, and, and uh, it was a great way to be around people that I liked being around. I played goalkeeper for the first time as a freshman in high school. It wasn't until after the World Cup, going into my junior year, where I thought, wow, this sport is, is truly amazing, and I really want to try to get good at it. And I started watching YouTube videos on how to be a goalkeeper and drills to do, because I ne never had any formal coaching and I made the varsity team my junior year. An injury to a goalkeeper ahead of me that was a senior captain allowed me to play a bunch of games and another guy on my team said, hey, look, I play on this club team. I think you're a really good goalkeeper and uh, we could really use one on my club team. You should come try out. So I went out and tried out for uh, Clarkstown Soccer Club, made the team and then started training year round. At Fairfield, you know, you go through two years of never seeing the field and then you work really hard and, and you're honing your craft and you're getting better and better. I finally got the opportunity to, uh, to play in a game and um, you know, disaster strikes, or score a horrible own goal and uh, end up on ESPN's Not Top 10, the number one play. And I remember reading people's comments on the play and the horrible things that they, they said about me. I really considered walking away from the game completely. It was that summer in 2014, I had my PDL coach at the end of the summer, Jeff Mateo, who played a few seasons in MLS, and Billy Gaudet, who also played in MLS, was my goalkeeper coach. And, and both of them sort of put their arms around me after that summer and, and said, hey, look, you know, if, if you want to do this, we think you're good enough to play professional soccer. And that was the first time anybody ever told me that. My junior year starts and, and I have this tremendous new confidence because somebody finally told me I was good enough that I trusted. And uh, I won the starting job that, that, uh, that fall. And sort of, I guess the rest is history. Looking at that TV in 2010, I have such vivid memories of of being on the couch, watching the games, and just being enamored by it all. And to 12 years later, be able to turn around and say, I watched that, and I thought about it, and then I went for it, it's just insane. And it just shows for me, like, it would be worth it because I was living a dream. I get to play this game, soccer, every single day, and uh, I wouldn't trade that for anything.